Hello, hello, all you wonderful people, my name is Barry Falls and welcome to a Mayhem Challenge, this turned out to be a song, but whatever, welcome guys to a challenge, and it is by Lucian Ilya Lucian, you creative son of a wonderful person, you are a wonderful person too, because this challenge is so creative, man, I'm gonna play as... Dun dun dun, not with Franklin, well not only with Franklin, you'll see what I mean. This is so weird, such a weird challenge, but so creative. Anyway, let's start. A le challenge, right now Franklin is gonna call somebody, he's gonna call acting up. Which is... Director mode, he's gonna call director mode and he's gonna turn into a pigeon, guys. He's gonna be a pigeon, can you imagine? Okay. So this challenge starts with a pigeon, okay? With a pigeon, I gotta crap on people's heads, first of all. Then, I <laughs> have to turn into a beast. With the beast, I gotta jump on buildings. Then, to a mountain lion. With that, I gotta uh, uh, kill people. With a cat, basically. An oversized cat. <laughs> I gotta turn into Patrick McCreary, do some stuff, then with Tracy, then with a fat woman. Guys, this... Have, have you seen this before? In a challenge? This is so unlike a mayhem challenge. There's lots of mayhem still. There's gonna be cops chases. Explosions. Oh, it's gonna be so good. There's some very hardcore steps. But... The, the first steps are so weird. I've never seen this before. Thank you very much, Lucian Ilya, for your creativity. Creativity. And my pigeon is dead. Also, there's there's no rules here, so I guess I can just die. I never die in Mayhem challenges. I just fail the challenge if I die. But in this challenge, I died several times. I'm not sure, guys, if it's allowed or not. But I just died a bunch of times. So there's the beast, guys. This is. Uh, an NPC which is unlocked after you do a bunch of crap, I, which I did in my walkthrough actually. And there's lots and lots and lots of collecting you have to do in order to get this guy. So I don't suggest you get it because it's so difficult. E nice landing, bro. Okay, that's it. I can just get out of this guy. The story is pretty weird, it's pretty tame, you know, nothing here really happens. But I like the creativity, guys. I like it quite a lot. And this is when things get a little heated. So first of all, I gotta kill 10 people with a cougar. I have never used the cougar before. I have used him, but never really to cause too much mayhem. I just ate a few people and that was it. But here I have to get away from police. I gotta find people on the street and whatnot. So yeah. Pretty good, pretty... It's not too tame anymore. Because I have police to worry about. Now Lucian has suggested probably f at least five challenges in San Andreas and GTA 5, I think in GTA 4 too. Not sure. But this, this stood out so much. Nobody has suggested things with... Uh, Director mode. If they did, the whole challenge did not involve director mode. But this whole challenge is director mode, except at the very end, of course. Gotta be a pigeon, gotta be a beast, gotta be a mountain lion, Patrick McCreary, uh, Tracy, a fat woman too. And then with Franklin, they gotta play with Trevor, with Michael. How should I name this challenge? The Switch Switcheroo Challenge? <laughs> Switcheroo. Oh, the switcheroo sounds very nice. I don't know. I don't know. Come back, banana boy. Banana boy did. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tasty banana. I didn't know cougars eat bananas. But they do, apparently. Hey, uh, you're next. You're next. Um, um, um. Mmm. Very nice. So, do you guys like this challenge? 
again the start is very weird it's not too there's not too much mayhem but there's kind of some mayhem here but don't worry guys the explosions are coming as soon as I switch to Patrick which is the next person gotta get two stars gotta drive to the airport gotta get five stars afterwards getting five stars is not easy because I could die also like I said dying is not really an issue here or is it I don't know there's no rules so I don't know what I could go off of but I just uh, <laughs> didn't worry about dying because I did die with uh, who did I die? actually I'm not gonna tell you that will be a spoiler okay how much is that is that uh, nine not sure I'm not counting you guys probably are I just also make sure to kill one extra person I think just to make sure I did not miscount or something. It's amazing how Rockstar Games put so much effort into this, which probably 80% of the people don't even know you can play as animals or as other people. So weird. They put so many resources, made animations and whatnot. And implemented a whole new system for people to play but not many people know about it I also made sure I wanted to kill myself with a car but it didn't work I just took a nap apparently so I said okay screw it I'm just gonna change to Patrick and Patrick is gonna cause some mayhem oh yeah first of all gotta find him he is in the highest characters highest character section Oh yes, and if you don't know, you can just dial a number and call these guys. The acting class, acting, uh, acting up, phone call. The number is 1-999-57-82-53-68. If you dial that number, you can just activate director mode. Which is an interesting concept, again. But lots of people don't know about it, even you probably didn't know about it if you did not watch my walkthrough, if you did not watch my walkthrough, go watch my walkthrough, it's only 90 episodes guys, only 90 episodes, probably like 50 hours you have to watch, eh, that's nothing right, yeah go watch it, right now, <laughs> no seriously go watch it, it's a pretty cool walkthrough, some people say it's their favorite walkthrough, most people actually prefer my San Andreas walkthrough, the most, and I kind of agree, maybe that's my fa my best one, my favorite one was the Vice City one, but the best one, probably San Andreas. Not sure, I'm currently doing a bully walkthrough, actually, if you did not check it out, you probably did, you're probably enjoying it, if you're not, go enjoy it right now. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we gotta go to the airport. You gotta get five stars. You get three stars once you enter, but I gotta get five. Getting five with no armor and with a crappy car is not easy, boys and girls. And anything in between. So, also you have all weapons with once you switch to a person. You have all weapons at your disposal and no ammo, you can just shoot when how much ever you want. Unfortunately from a car you can just chug grenades, which are kinda useless against this chopper for instance, or an SMG, SMG is the best in a car. So I'm limited to that, I can't just uh, take a rocket launcher of course, that would be too weird. Why well, isn't this weird? Flying with a <laughs> pigeon and whatnot, or a mountain lion, whatever. This is weird too. Okay, Patrick. You can finally play as Patrick, guys. Oh, in GTA 4, I wanted to play as him because he was so good. Okay, I have four stars. Gonna get five stars before I die, and that's difficult, guys. This is. Oh, this took me like maybe ten attempts. I wanna say. But technically it took me one, because the first ten maybe were just tests. Because I wasn't sure how exactly this mode works. Not a mod, a mode. 
You can see it on the top right. Director mode. And yeah, this is the vanilla game, guys. No mods whatsoever. Completely vanilla. And uh, such a good, such a good mode. Such a creative challenge, dudes. Guys, please suggest challenges which are creative. Please don't suggest. <laughs> For instance, in San Andreas, climb Mount Chiliad. I avoid all challenge submissions which involve Mount Chiliad, cause. Maybe 70% of all challenges involve that damn mountain, guys. I don't want every single episode to be the exact same, right? I want uniqueness. I want to do something different. If I do the same thing over and over again, I would be bored. This is so different. Something e extremely new. And something which would probably help people. Because most of you don't know about director mode. Oh yeah, I got 5 stars and I have to get out of the airport Because once I switch to K uh, K not Katie, but uh, Tracy I don't want stars because I think she's gonna spawn inside of here Not sure about that, but I just made sure to get out of here before I switch to her In case she spawns in the airport And get stars Dun dun dun, I'm dead. Woohoo! Okay, Tracy time. Again, death, I'm not sure if it's allowed, but I died with uh, Patrick. Oh, let's switch to Tracy. She's gonna say. Thank you! Thank you! Where you here? Thank you! Okay, there's airport. Hello, buddy. Gotta punch three people, guys. Gotta punch three people with a fist. With Tracy and win. Win, I guess, just means uh, kill the people. Bam! Oh, oh, that felt so good. And this felt so... Oh, oh. <laughs> and there's a third person. I'm not sure if I killed him, actually. Let's... Oh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a good thing I kept punching people. <laughs> Okay, so I guess one punch does not kill these guys. Okay, three people done. Awesome. I just decided to continue hitting people because why not? I gotta switch anyway to a fat woman, so... I kept punching because why not? This looks so good. I wish Tracy was in a different outfit. Pretty sure you cannot choose a different outfit for her in director mode. She's in her pajamas, man. Outside. In public. Whatever, she doesn't care. She she does porn. She doesn't care about this stuff. Okay, a fat woman. This is her mode. Welcome. And here come the explosion, guys. Here come the explosions. Oh yeah, I have to kill uh, Trace with a train. But I decided not to do that. To change that step, it says kill yourself by jumping in front of a train. I gotta go to a train station, I gotta wait for a train, that's super boring, so I did not do that. Decided to go against it. And just uh, kill myself by police officers. Because why not? I could have just not killed police officers, not get a wanted level and just go to a train station, wait at the train station forever. <laughs> Until a train comes and... Yeah, that seems super boring, so I did not do that. Oh, so this is so awesome! Bam! Ooh, especially this explosion. Fat chick on the rampage! Fat chick on the rampage! Dirt. Fat chick on the rampage! Dirt. Such a cool song. Anyway... Ugh. Hey, should I... Name the video Fat chick on the rampage? I... No, YouTube is gonna say that's hate speech. I'm not hating, guys. I love Mode, one of my favorite characters. She's so good. Die. Oh, oh so many explosions. No, the chick is dead. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta switch to Franklin. Which involves exiting story mode.
I gotta switch to Triber afterwards. And I gotta get five stars as Triber, guys. Five stars. And then I gotta switch to Michael. Now, it doesn't say keep him alive and lose the stars. It just says get five stars and switch to Michael. So what did I do? I killed Trevor and then I switched to Michael. You may say that's cheating. I don't think so because it does not say lose the stars first and then switch to Michael. So, I decided to just uh, stay here and shoot at cars. I like this. Got blammo. Woo, that was close. <laughs> Almost the door killed me too. Oh, the car <laughs> was also close. Bam! Two stars so far. Three up. No, I missed you. Die. <laughs> that was also Oh, best moment in the video. Also, you could say here I failed the challenge because I did not get five stars immediately. But again, death does not mean anything in this challenge, does it? Even how can I fail this challenge? Can I fail this challenge in any way? I can just restart any of these steps at any moment because there's no penalty. If I die, nothing happens. Yeah, I'm not sure if I failed or not. Also, this dog could have killed me instantly. But I saw it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I don't think I can fail this challenge in any way. Oh, almost got him. With your pink weapons, he's so funny. Doi. Doi. Two stars. Getting five stars in GTA 5 is not as easy as you would think, especially if you don't have uh, heavy weapons. Like miniguns, like uh, rocket launchers. Not as easy as you would think, but you can just lock yourself in a corner. Take out your RPGs, your miniguns and whatnot, and go to town. Yeah, doy. Woohoo! Four stars so far. People are shooting at me, and also I have this, guys. I am with Trevor. I forgot I was with Trevor, <laughs> and I forgot about my special ability, but I have a special ability. Doy chopper. There's also no rule. I cannot use. Special abilities. So I'm gonna use special abilities. If you wanna prevent me from doing something, make a rule against it. And guys, we can suggest any challenge on any GTA game, just make sure you read the rules in the description. That's why I have rules, because nobody reads the damn rules and people suggest crap. So read the rules. And leave your comment in a Mayhem Challenge video, not in any other video, not in my business email especially. <laughs> anyway, I died here. Again, I'm not sure if I had to... If I was allowed to die or not. But uh, it happened. Gotta switch to Michael and gotta save the game with my phone. <laughs> and that's the challenge. Pretty weird again. Thank you very much Lucian Ilya for this super creative challenge I gotta say. Not sure if you guys agree, not sure if you guys like this challenge, it's super different, but different means good sometimes. And you guys haven't seen GTA 5 in a while, so here you go guys, GTA 5 is back for a little bit. So yeah guys, this was it, challenge is complete. I can now spend quality time with my lovely wife. Thank you guys so much for watching and a very special thank you goes to my lovely channel members and patrons SMRJ, Paris Bruce Lane, LMP Racing, Alex Chavez, House the Childer, Max Robinson, Smokio and everyone else on the screen. Thank you so much.